For our next keynote, I want to introduce uh, Mr. Shi Yao Hong, who is the president of Huawei Middle East, and he's going to give us a nice keynote on how to explore new opportunities in the ICT industry. Good morning, Your Excellency, and ladies and gentlemen. Really, thanks for giving me this opportunity from Telecom Review. First of all, I would like to really convey my thanks to all the people sitting in this room. Without, without your trust and support, we will not be in a position to discuss and share our thoughts, which again proved the core value of our company, focusing bringing the value to the customer are always essential for our survival. Actually, this morning, lots of topics which we, we have discussed was almost uh, the same debate happened within ourselves I think uh, three, four years ago, back in 2009, 2010, we, always, we are always talking about whether Facebook is going to buy AT&T or not, who are going to be our new customer, and whether to be a telecom CT supplier, we'll still have a chance to be existence in this planet or not. So put uh, aside all the concerns and doubts, we only remembered one thing, which is customer focus. We decided at that time, all the operators, irrespective, will be focusing more on improve their customer satisfaction. So going with them together for the customer satisfaction improvement will be the key factor for us to get out all the missed and find the right path. These four years has passed. Time has proved the direction is right. In terms of customer satisfaction management, all we call CEM, it's always a big topic. For our company, we simplify it in the three perspectives. First, always to have a hyper high quality broadband. I think we are the first one to start investment on 5G. Even, even right when the 4G uh, FTDLT has been launched in UAE. That, uh, that was a time we don't know. We were thinking maybe 2020 the 5G will be commercial launched. But now we see a clear uh, commercialization trend. This 5G will be, more sta will be standardized and commercialized much earlier than our expectation. This is the first, always have a high quality hyper broadband. Second, from reactive to be proactive customer satisfaction management. I think Osman also touched this topic. Are we ready to proactively start collecting the data from our infrastructure, from our CBS and CRM and analyze those and take the action accordingly. We, along with our colleagues uh, in the whole industry, are trying to take the lead on this journey. Now, even in our region, we already have a successful commercial, commercial launch of certain initiatives where we really take out all the we call big data and do the analysis together with our partners and uh, th using the PCRF to give the actions. A simple format is, it's very close for us to launch a particular YouTube package in some operators, where if you active that, you will always make sure the video, the YouTube click, a YouTube quality will be ensured on the top level. Looking to future, we want to focus more on the UCM how an end user can subscribe the different services. One of our friends mentioned, um, I think from Anson mentioned that uh, the tap water issue, whether, whether uh, an electricity company or a water company, how they can be smarter. I think our industry is a little bit different because uh, in the tap water system, people only provide one type of water. And, but if it's us, we can provide the water, mineral water for drink, we can provide pure water for drink, we can provide the normal temperature, 
uh, uh, normal water and we can provide the special water only to maybe flush the toilet. So customer satisfaction still have a long way to go, but uh, as long as we focus together to improve the end user, I think that will be the fundamental factor. Apart from we call the snacks like uh, the uh, additional services. But today, what I really want to touch is a separate topic. If we look at uh, us, our region, compared to the states, it's extremely different. In US, people always think about the technology owner would be Silicon Valley. The center of innovation is always coming from that area. In our region, it's not. Whenever the different industry think about ICT, they always think the telecom operators are the stakeholders of the leading and the innovative ICT solutions. We are in a more advanced stage than any other areas, being it's uh, the States, being it's West Europe, to be more proactively lead the change. We all talk about ICT is going to disrupt all the businesses, like commerce, like logistics, media, and others. But if we look at our own asset, on one side, we have the end user, like the consumers, as our most important asset today. On the other side, we have the government initiatives where we can participate. I really appreciate Khalifa touched this topic as well, the smart cities. Our region, from the macro environment point of view, need diversity of, of the economies. And what I've seen, seriously, smart city is moving ahead of lots of other initiatives. Congre congratulations to Dubai for the World uh, Expo. 2020, but as Khalifa mentioned, right even before this announcement, the UAE government started moving to the smart city direction. And if we look at Saudi, almost the five smart cities are on the way, and uh, the one King Abdullah economical city, which was a desert three years ago, now is having the port, having the companies moving in. For us, Although the name is called the uh, Telecom Review, but for us, the owners of telecoms, what role we should play in the smart cities along with the government is what I want to share with you. Uh, it's uh, maybe a slightly a uh, sales pitch. Everybody knows the digital natives are coming from connectivity to the experience and to tomorrow to transform to, to a digital society. But the, the main change in our in area is smart city can be the drive for the digital society. From home to the companies and to the government. Smart city initiative are going to cover all these different layers and different areas. A small example of uh, Dubai, what we've seen, the pictures in 2020. At the same time, as I mentioned, uh, the Lucia city in Qatar, Mustar city, and the uh, KEC, KEC, Yembo, Jobair of Saudis, and city of Silk of Kuwait, Dalcom, the blue city of Oman. The smart cities are coming and it's moving even before we talk. What industry, what kind of infrastructure will a smart city need? They will definitely need uh, the, the traffic, the highway to connect to those cities. They will definitely need the medical facilities as well as the education facilities. They will need infrastructures, but at the same time, at, like the electricity and power, they need more advanced ICT platform. 
broadband network always the access. And on top of it, IT infrastructure, especially cloud-based data center, are the key enablers for the different entities, whether it's from the government or whether it's from the, <coughs> the SMEs, to move in. So our uh, billing, like our metering system, have to follow to be able to enable providing the services for, for the cloud-based data centers. And on, on top of it, different uh, applications and smart platforms. For example, when the new smart city is coming up, they, they, we can learn the experiences, what the ICT infrastructure in Jebali port, and uh, <coughs> apply the same technology and same applications on the new port. Comprehensive system innovating the whole ICT industry inside the smart city solutions. And we seriously believe, and we have witnessed also, that certain operators are really taking the lead and having the core ability to be the whole smart city ICT infrastructure owners. The key is with these five elements. Proactive, open, wide, experienced, and able to resolve. driving the industry by the healthy business model. And we, <coughs> dealing with different areas, we were able to have <coughs> applied the real BOT model. So looking to the future, maybe <coughs> also Khalifa mentioned uh, we are analyzing what's the added value we can bring. Actually, as, as, a, as I said, as a leading technology owner in this region, we will definitely be able to take the cri critical steps. From the network uh, connectivity to the intel uh, intelligence city management and moving to future industrial e-services, the government e-services, and uh, growing the whole ecosystem, I think we can bring much more other than our revenue, maybe other than the contribution to our EBITDA, to really contribute to the whole region at the same time to take the lead in the whole regional ICT transformation for future. So, as I said, a small sales pitch. Strategically, we are really determined to move to this direction along with our partners, the telecom telcos sitting in this room. And we really want, we have the same vision. We have keep our trust and we put our efforts on this journey together. Thank you so much.